Uh, just so everybody is aware, this round table is recorded so that we can pop it up on our YouTube channel later and share it with those who are not able to attend. I appreciate everyone attending. Uh, we have some awesome topics by some awesome volunteers this evening that will go over. And then towards the end, we'll have a great uh, opportunity for some question and answers if anybody would like to bring anything else out. Also at the end, I will be here hanging out along with a couple other individuals that if there's a particular uh, question or concern that you'd like to talk about, uh, we, we can definitely do that towards the end when everybody starts cycling out of here and uh, we can definitely help you with that. So please uh, keep that in mind. So before we get rolling here, uh, like I said, uh, my name is Drew Chesney, Council Commissioner on your screen. Uh, everybody should see my screen as of, I don't know, now. You can see my email address. So please feel free to reach out to me if there's anything, any questions, concerns, comments about any old thing that I, you think I can help you with. Uh, I would do my best for you in connecting you with the right individual or uh, answering your question outright, seeing what I can do for you. So uh, again, uh, right on your screen there, feel free to use it. And uh, here we go. This evening, we have some uh, individuals who are going to talk to us about Cub Scout summer programs, uh, the Walk Ponomy summer programs, uh, camp cards, STEM in our council, wood badge, and we have a quick rundown of some events and important items coming up of your particular interest. Uh, I try not to keep you guys more than an hour, hour and 15 minutes, uh, and I will try to keep uh, to my word on that and uh, appreciate it. First up, uh, Tori and Amy, are you here? Yes, we are. Excellent. <laughs> All right. All yours. Okay. Thanks. Well, as you guys know, we have Cub Scout Astronaut Academy for our day camp this year. Um, we are going to be exploring the galaxy. Amy and I are extremely excited for this. Um, there's going to be a lot of fun and different things, a little different spin on some things for day camp to make it more fun for the kids. Um, as you will see, we're actually uh, going to be hosting it in two locations this year. Um, just due to the, some of the, co the COVID restrictions that some of, we used to do it at Buchendall or at the town park and colony. Um, not, um, just to let you guys know, we tried and some uh, with the COVID restrictions, they weren't able to give us a yes right off the bat. So you know what, we wanted to know and have them at our camps where we know we can provide an excellent program and be able to host it uh, like we normally would. So we're gonna have it at our space station, RSR, which is at our Rotary Scout Reservation. That is July 19th through the 23rd. Um, and then we have it at our space uh, space station walk, which is Camp Walk Ponomy from August 9th to August 13th. Programs will run at, uh, from 8.30 to 4. Um, 8.30 is drop off, so it gives us enough time to get everybody in. Um, we do have, um, and also too, what's great this year is that we, for Rotary, we will be offering transportation. Um, the transportation has been set up for the Rotary uh, Day Camp. So we will have uh, a couple different stops for that. The stops for that will be, uh, one will be in Del Mar at the Hannaford Plaza. We'll have a pickup at Colony Center. And then on the Western side, we will have one at Schenectady Community College. And then we will also have a stop at Exit 9 Park and Ride at the crossings to try to get what we can to go across the district. Um, as you can see, we got some fun things we're giving you. Me and Amy wanted to give you a little teasers of what is gonna be happening at day camp and keep a lookout for all the promotions that are gonna be coming out because each time we're gonna give you a little bit more. So in nature, we're gonna be learning, you know, we got constellations and, you know, the element of space. We have astronomy and STEM for space exploration. You're gonna be going through an honorary astronaut training. There's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun stuff that we're gonna be doing at day camp. Um, the other thing is too, is that if you want to come up and all of our den leaders that come up and they volunteer, that is one thing this year to know and let your units know that if any of the parents want to volunteer as a den leader, they do have to commit for the whole entire week. We are, we are going with the cohort method to be able to follow DOH guidelines. So in the past, we used to be able to have mom come up for two days and then dad come back up for three days. Um, 
we uh, we're not going to be able to do that this year. So we're going to have to meet. So if you could sign up as a den leader, you are committed for the whole week. But there's a nice discount for your scout if you do want to come up. There is also a discount if you want to be on staff. Like I got Rob and George Hassel who have volunteered greatly to be able to come up. Um, and help out. There is also a discount for your youth because we want to be able to thank you for all your time and effort being up to camp. Um, Amy, am I missing anything? I got so much going on. No, there's just so much going on. We can't say it all right now. <laughs> and as you can see, a little tease right there, you can see right in, uh, it says Cub Scout Day Camp there, right in the center. Um, that Drew's got up on the thing. This is Astronaut Academy. That is actually the logo that's going to be on our t-shirts. So gave you a little sneak peek there for the kids. That's what their t-shirts will look like. Um, but we're really, really excited. Um, we are going to be providing all, um, they're going to have shooting sports and scouting scout, scout skills. So we're still going to hone in on some of those skills that maybe have been a little rusty over the last year. We want to make sure that those skills are still honed in. We are excited to be at Rotary. We are excited to be at Camp Walk Ponomy. Um, also check out the website on uh, TRC, um, go underneath camping and hit Cub Scout Day Camp. There is a lot of information in there. The stops are in there again for the rotary for the transportation. Your BSA form is in there. Some of our COVID policies and procedures are in there. Um, and also the parent and leader guide is up on the website too. So you can check that out. That's got a lot of a wealth of information. And also there is a... Um, a place where you can send an email that'll come to Amy and I through our day camp email so we can make sure we respond back to you in a timely manner. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you can either throw it in chat or again, like Drew said, we'll be hanging back. So if anybody's got any major questions, let us know or you can reach out to Amy or I and we'd be glad to be able to respond. So we're looking forward to an awesome year and having a great time up at camp. Tori, when is registration open? Registration actually is open now. Thank you, Drew. Registration is open for both of these. So just check on the calendar and or you can go right to the website and click on it. Um, it'll be right there for each one. And I think Stephen just sent out the latest. You can click on it through there also. So registration is open. We already have seven registrants. So um, what we're looking forward to see a lot of Cub Scouts up at camp this year. That's it. Any questions for Tori on the day camp? Uh, Tori, this is Bruce. Is there going to be a limit on how many Cub Scouts are going to be allowed to attend? No, as of right now, no. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Anybody else want to throw a quick question out for us? Uh, Baldwin. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, just a point of reference. I know some of you have already responded, but uh, Jerry Neff was a uh, an engineer at uh, NASA, and you, maybe you might want to integrate him in the program. I don't know. It's just a thought. You know what? No, Bob, I thank you very much. I just saw that. So um, I may reach out to him because we may have uh, a spot for him in a couple places. So thank you very, very much for that. <laughs> All right. He, he, he actually, he didn't work directly for NASA, he worked for one of the contractors that was working the launches. Still, uh, I that's think he kind, did, that is still kind of cool. As I remember it, he worked on the water suppression for the launch diversers, diverters. Oh, no, that is, yeah. that is pretty cool. That is still really, really cool. So thank you very much, Bob. Totally appreciate that. I really do. He worked for Morton Thiokol. He was their chief propellants engineer. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I'll reach out to Jerry. Right. Not to put anyone else on the spot, but Stephen or Brian, and is there any thoughts on anything for resident camp for Cubs and Lebos that you'd like to bring up at this point? Well, we're excited to be holding uh, resident camp at Rotary this summer. Uh, this will be our first time hosting it in probably quite a while, actually. Um, but uh, we're going to be hosting August 1st through 4th, so it's Sunday through Wednesday. We're going to be sticking with the space theme. Resident camp, of course, is a great opportunity for those older Cub Scouts that are uh, looking to begin transitioning in their experiences up into the Scout BSA program and get that extra overnight experience as part of their Cub experience. And they're going to have the full access to our camp program, which means they'll be able to do aquatics and they'll be able to do shooting sports and they'll be able to do ecology and all sorts of other fun activities that we're gonna have in store for them that week. So we're, uh, we're excited, we're looking forward to uh, 
to that and love to see as many Cubs as possible coming on out for our uh, Cub resident camp. Again, August 1st through 4th. We are a little bit behind on the details on some of the, the logistics on this because as a resident camp, we are still waiting for New York State DOH to unveil the guidelines for resident camps this year. That's uh, that's keeping us a little bit on our toes, both for that program as well as for the Scouts BSA resident camp program. Day camps were able to operate last year in New York State, so we've already got some guidelines in place that were already there that we can start to plan on for this year, um, but New York State has not yet released the resident camp guidelines. So when uh, we get that information, we'll firm up a few of the things related to the schedules and some of the logistics once they tell us what guidelines we need to follow this year uh, under a COVID environment. But, uh, but we are excited about the program. We will be uh, having lots more to come. And one of the things I've been doing with the Scouts BSA program for resident camp this summer is hosting a monthly roundtable specific to that camp. So uh, some of you have already been on those roundtables with me. We've hosted two of them. We're doing one a month so far, and we'll update that schedule as events warrant as we get more information um, from, uh, from New York. But uh, once we get some more details from the state and are able to finalize some of our scheduling issues, some of our schedules and things like that, we will do the same for the Cub resident camp program. So there will be an opportunity for uh, anybody that's interested in that to tune in and uh, find out some more from, from us about uh, what we've got in store. But we got our theme. We know what our activities are. We just need to find out a little bit more from the state as far as the, the logistics. Do we have an idea of a ballpark of pricing for the event? Registration is up uh, live. I don't know if, Stephen, if you remember that off the top of your head. I don't have it off the top of my head, but I can pull it up. I need Jeopardy music. Yeah, sorry. Two hundred dollars for the youth for that's what I, that's what I thought it was. I just didn't want to yeah. say without uh, yeah. So two hundred dollars for uh, for the regular fee and uh, late fee kicks in July fourteenth. That's two fifty. So uh, eighty dollars for participant and uh, for adult participant. Excuse me. Um, and um, yeah, so we're good Great. to go. Any questions for Brian on resident camp at this point? All right. Uh, very cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, Tori and Amy. Uh, very exciting stuff. Looking forward to visiting the camps this year and seeing everybody doing Cub Scouting. Uh, up next, uh, Rihanna, you're going to touch base on some of the stuff happening at Walk Bonomi this summer? Yeah, so um, I'm really excited to um, be working with some key volunteers and making a program up at Walk Bonomi happen. So, this is just a quick flyer that I put together advertising the basis of what we're planning on offering this summer. So we're gonna offer three Saturdays over the summer that scouts can register for. Those three dates will be July 3rd, July 24th, and July 31st. So, and on each of those days, we'll be offering um, open shooting, including rifle and shotgun and archery, as well as open boating and a pioneer program or like a trail to first class program for your younger scouts. Um, uh, the pricing you can kind of see on the, it's a little small, but um, on the flyer, the uh, open, open, uh, open boating is $30 for the day. Rifle shooting is $30 for 100 rounds. Um, shotgun is $25 for 25 rounds. Archery is $10 for the day and Pioneer program is $5. Um, we are also offering a discount price if you want to participate in all of these activities. We'll be offering um, like a camp hopper pass that'll give you access to each program area and camp for the cost of $75, which is, I think it's a pretty good deal considering the amount of things that you can get and the cost that it would be if you bought them all individually. So in addition to open boating, we will also be offering um, open swim for those who do come for these weekends, but there's no charge for the open swimming. So um, uh, registration is coming soon. I haven't had a chance to open it yet, but um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know my email is on the flyer so anyone have any questions now that they'd like me to answer i do all right oh okay yeah with with the open swim will you be doing swim tests with the kids that need that for requirements yep absolutely so we'll be running swim checks first thing on saturday morning so um we're um we're guessing that folks are going to be coming in and doing a weekend rental and we'll just be having program on saturday so first thing on saturday morning at 
from like nine to 11, we're planning on running swim checks for all of the troops in camp. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? All right, awesome. So um, I, think I think that's it, Drew, back to you. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. And again, if anybody has any questions, they can throw them in the chat or bring them up at the end and we'll be happy to answer them. All right, uh, next up, Beth, you wanna talk about camp cards a little bit? Beth is on mute. If she hits unmute, we can hear her. Thank you. Um, if you wouldn't mind letting me uh, screen share, I have two slides that I'd like to share. Boom. It's coming your way. Thank you. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Okay. All right. So um, on here, I wanted you guys to be able to see what the camp cards look like. Uh, this is a fundraiser that we are offering right now. This is a great time to be able to get these. And the timing of this presentation is perfect after all of the camp presentations because the whole reason why we are doing these is to help these kids these scouts get to camp without having to even pay for it. So, and that's very, very possible with these camp cards. Uh, the camp cards are $10 each. I'm gonna go over a little bit about that too, but just so that way you can see on here, they're $10 each. Uh, they have break off tabs. So you can see off of the main card, those, those pieces that are kind of rounded, those are break off one time use tabs. Uh, and then the rest of them can be used multiple times, however many times you want. And all of these expire at the end of the year. All right, so the next. Again, we wanna get these kids to, count, to camp. COVID 2020 was pretty rough on some families and we do not want families to not uh, get their kids to camp because it it's financially um, difficult for them to do so. Uh, this is easy, easy sell. We talk about uh, low priced items. Uh, this is definitely them. So each card again sells for $10 and the scouts get 50% commission. So it's a very, very quick buildup of their um, commission. And the sale has already started running. We're gonna go through June 1st for our main sale. And that's when we're gonna close out everyone's accounts. If we have cards left over and we have uh, units or scouts that want to continue to sell them, we will still allow that. But we are going to do our initial closeout on uh, sale ending June 1st. And then all the payments will be June 8th. So there are a lot of questions about um, money being due when you pick them up. There is no money due at the time of pickup of the cards. All the money is due at the end of the sale. So uh, don't stress about that. Uh, what you do at the end is turn in the uh, money for your cards uh, that you have sold or turn in the rest of your cards. So and there are going to be other ways of selling. So some of your accounts will be, um, you'll get uh, money from each di different ways of uh, doing the sales. So I'm gonna go over there really, really quick. There's gonna be the in-person sales. So that's your scout going around, uh, selling to your people at work, selling to your neighbors, sell, you know, however, uh, friends, family. Uh, that's right in person. And the really cool thing about that is we are working with Trails Zen again right now through our camp cards. I know we're used to using that popcorn, but right now we are going to utilize them for the uh, credit card sales. So if you or your scout wants to sell using credit card, uh, you utilize the uh, Trails End app just like you did with the popcorn and they'll be able to utilize that uh, with credit cards and Twin Rivers Council is paying the fees for that. So you don't even have to worry about having fees come out of your payments. Uh, when you do that, uh, Trails End will pay you the commission right from Trails End and 
you'll be paid for that right away. Uh, there is a training on our website for how to set up the Trails End app, and it goes through every step, picture by picture. It tells you everything to do to get your scouts signed up for that. Um, if you already did popcorn with Trails End, you're already set up. You get to use the same account. Cool stuff. So the other is Storefront, which is something that many of you already recognize uh, through the popcorn sale. We are opening up a bit and storefronts are a lot more and more stores are allowing for the um, the storefront selling. I know that I've spoken to the Albany Walmart, the one right by our office, and they are up for that. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, smaller locations around our neighborhoods are up for that. So if you have a specific location that you're looking for, reach out to them and know what you want to do. And you can certainly do the storefront and again, using the Trails End app, you can also take credit cards, which is a really cool thing for uh, getting, don't carry cash. The last way to sell is the online sales. Uh, the online sales are really cool because you can sell to people even if you're not near them. Uh, you would just, you can post on Facebook, other social media, you can send emails, you can send texts, and all you have to do is give your customers the link, which you can find on our camp, camp page on our website, and all you have to do is give them your scout code, which is basically your first name, last initial, and your unit number. And they'll put that in when they order the card and your scout will get credit. So what we do is if there's an, an order that comes in online, you don't have to deal with it. Holly and I will be sending those out weekly and then we'll be crediting your account for the commission that comes in off of that. So that's a really cool way of getting sales out there by social media. Uh, this is a part that's confused people a little bit because I think, uh, um, just the way that New York State is broken up and what we hear from people about how we're broken up. We do have the North card and the South card. So keep in mind that when you go in and you register to sell for, for camp cards, you're going to be ordering the North cards if you live up in the Plattsburgh area and part of Blends Falls area. So there's a little bit of both on there. So those of you from the Adirondack region, we've got you covered. We've got most of the deals on that card are right in the Plattsburgh area. We heard you loud and clear the last time and we made sure that we got a card just for you. So that would be the North card. So that's Plattsburgh, Glens Falls. Then the South card is the capital region and there are also some deals in the Glens Falls area also utilize on that. So if you know people in both areas, when you register to sell, you can choose both cards and sell to the people that you know areas. They're really, really cool cards. The deals on them um, are pretty high for what we have. Most of the deals are uh, around $10 or more. Uh, like Valvoline, for example, is $10 off an oil change. So that pays for your card. And how many times do you get your oil changed a year? And how many cars do you have in your household? So that one's a, a, a great one. Uh, just as an example. And uh, of course, Hewitt's is on there and it's 10% off of your order or your purchase. Um, I know that this time of the year and coming up soon, we're all gonna be working on our yards and that's gonna come in handy. Um, keep in mind too, that if your unit is not participating, uh, how, but you have some scouts that want to participate, you can have them sign up on their own and we'll just work with them to get the, the funds uh, transferred. Keep in mind too, all of these things, um, all the fundraising is guided by the unit. The unit makes decisions. So um, keeping in mind that this, this fundraiser is geared specifically towards fundraising for camp, but as a unit, if you decide that you also wanna continue selling and, and sell more, so that way you can cover other costs for other things, that's fine too, but that's something that the unit would uh, discuss with the committee. Now, um, do you guys have any questions for me?
No questions at all for Beth. Okay, well, I hope to see you guys registering. All you have to do to register is to go on our, our uh, camp card page on the Twin Rivers Council website. So it's Twin Rivers Council, uh, or trcscouting.org backslash camp dash card. And you'll find all of the information there, some training and all of that stuff too. We do have training for the um, camp card sales. So if you guys want to learn more and know how to utilize these other um, sales methods and how it all works. And that also on our website. Excellent. Thank you, Beth. Appreciate it. Uh, next up, uh, Vincent, you want to talk about some STEM programs available in the council? Uh, sure. Uh, maybe I can share my screen as well so I can show a little bit where we, where we stand the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hang on one quick second. There you go. All right, so let me check. Let me find the right window. I'm the kind of person who has 50 windows open at the same time, uh, which means too many choices, but that's okay. All right, so you guys see this? Do you guys see my, my browser? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, um, so my name is uh, Vincent Meunier. I'm uh, I'm actually the chairman of the STEM committee for council, and this is something that started about three years ago. Um, actually, yeah, it's been three years. It was um, uh, Brian Murray asked me if I would want to work on this. Is, and so what what happened is um, one of the one of the starting point were of course the STEM program at camp. That was very success. That is very successful. So we wanted to expand that a little bit, uh, for with events and uh, activities during the year. So over over the past two and a half years, we've we've created a number of opportunities in terms of merit badges, mostly uh, STEM uh, in STEM colleges. We are also organizing an event next week, uh, which I'm going to talk about a few uh, a little bit more in a second. Um, and then uh, I was talking to a few of you about this, and, and actually I, I realized that many are not aware of the Nova and Supernova program. So maybe it's a great opportunity for me to, to tell people a little bit about this. So first of all, um, uh, just if you go on the on the BSA website, so scout, scouting.org, there is this STEM Nova and uh, Supernova. I'm not going to go in details, obviously, uh, but we offer training for this. And uh, we offer a, a number of possibilities for people to become Nova counselor and supernova mentors. Uh, and in particular, the, the, what's nice about this program is that it's, it's really a supplement to the merit badges uh, for the BSA scout. But also, it's, it's also age appropriate in the sense that uh, we have the Cub Scout, for example. There is a very nice, uh, there are 11 different activities for, for, for Cubs. Uh, these are great events for individual, but also for for uh, dens, um, and of course there is something also for Scout BSA and and one for Explorer. Uh, so it's a lot. There is a lot of stuff going on there, uh, and so I, I invite you to look into that. And if you're interested in becoming a counselor or a mentor, um, that you can contact me as well. Uh, if you go on the on the website for the for the, the for council, we actually have a link here, which is if you go to camping and activities and STEM. Uh, there is um, there is here that there, there are two links. Uh, the first link is actually what's called Nova Program. It's actually the website for the for, for the committee. So that's the committee I was uh, I'm telling you about that we've we have uh, created almost three years ago now. Uh, I'm I'm not going to go into details too much, but if you are interested, you can just go there. It's we have lots of information. Uh, oh, this is by the way the the a patch that we have a shoulder pa patch. For, just for us, for the council, for those who get a supernova, just it's kind of cool. Uh, so there are a lot of information, contact information, and so on and so forth. Um, so explaining STEM, explaining also how to become a, a mentor. Uh, we, we, I put together, uh, with the help of others, obviously, application forms and explanation of how to become a, a mentor and what it means. Uh, one, one thing I wanted to show you, because I only have 10 minutes, is, um, is uh, one thing about the NOVA Awards is that Many people do not want to be mentors because they are a little bit overwhelmed. They think it's too much. 
So what I've done over the, uh, during the pandemic, because yeah, pandemic at least had that chance to give us a lot of time to do other stuff that we would not do otherwise, um, is to put together a self-guided um, sites for the for the scout bsa program so if you go on this site and again you can get there from the from the council website i created all those um i think it's 10 or 11 10 actually uh so let's for example if you go to splash uh we created a website which is just for the for council where everything ex is explained so a scout could actually follow all this for example get all the requirements everything is explained um in details and also instructions for docu documenting the progress, how to, how to send the information. So SCAT who really want to learn about these things uh, can, can learn on their own. And of course they need a mentor or, uh, so they can also find a mentor through the units or through the district we, we, and the district will usually contact me to get the information. We have all that information uh, centralized. Um, again, I don't want to spend too much time but one important thing I want to mention to you uh, aside from all those, which are, I think are, are pretty cool for, for scouts who want to learn more, is the, the event that we, are, that we have next week. Uh, and again, I'm sorry, uh, it's right here. Uh, it's the CUP, the CUP STEM uh, camp. Um, actually, the person who did most of the work on this story, I have to say. Uh, but we have, uh, we have here this, uh, this event we decided to do with uh, the other people who are involved. I mean, there are many people involved, but the steering committee, I would say, uh, Rob uh, uh, Pattison and uh, Greg Sesny and myself and Tori. Uh, we put this together and it started April 5th to April 12th. And we decided to actually offer all the NOVA awards, but this time for the Cubs. And so this is going to be live sessions. Uh, we have, uh, Tori can probably provide you the exact information on the chat, but we have, I think, like uh, more than 150 uh, slots uh, that have been uh, uh, booked. So it's, it's really, really successful. And so again, there we decided to use something that uh, an online system. So this is the online system we put together. You can you kind of see the style, right? It's always the same style. Uh, look at the, the cool uh, logo that was put together. This is the this is the patch that will be given to all the all the cups by the end of the of this. Uh, one thing I want to show you is that what we've done here. So we have plenty of information. And these are all the, the volunteers, and you probably recognize a lot of names there, uh, who have um, volunteered to teach a, a different NOVA, a Cub NOVA. And so the way we did this, because the Cub NOVA, uh, they, had, you know, they take quite a bit of time, certainly more than the two hours that we have budgeted for this. We decided to create websites. So let's say, let's just, let's just say, let's just take the one from Rob here, okay? And so on each of these, you have the explanation on the of the of the website. We have even bio sketches. We have the Zoom link and so on and so forth. So really to help the scouts and their parents so they don't have to dig out information. It's all centralized. Uh, we have the list of prerequisites, a uh, link to videos they can look, they can watch, and uh, also all sort of information on how to submit the information. So we really put a lot of work in there to have a centralized place where we can actually use this for for the event that will take place next week. So this is something that we do. And uh, you see, even Rob explained pe to people, the volume is length, time, width, time, height. So it's great. All kinds of things like this and even the Enigma machine. So the so in, in addition to this to this event next week, so as I said, there is this, this one, the, the, the side that's always on for the BSA Scout. Um, we also have the Supernova program, which is more advanced. And uh, I would be happy to, to answer question or even by email. You, you saw my email that was shared by, by Drew. Um, we also um, already look in and to assist and, and help uh, uh, Brian to look into a STEM program for the for the summer. I mean, I've, I've personally been uh, uh, teaching a number of STEM things during the summer as well, but we, we have not yet decided what's going to happen. One thing that I wanted to tell you that's cool, I was just talking to uh, Rob Gatt a couple of days ago. Uh, there will be a, the merit badge on radio will be offered. So by these people who actually are just really, really into radio, uh, amateur radio. And so that will be offered very soon in the, in the springs. I don't have the dates yet, but it's coming up. And there will be other, um, other acti STEM activities coming up also in the spring uh, in partnership with the, uh, the uh, APO. So APO is a fraternity from uh, universities that are made up of, of uh, Eagle Scouts. 
Um, so yeah, so I hope I didn't take too much time. I tried to go fast. So if there is any question, I'd be happy to, to answer them. No, you did great. Any questions for Vincent? Just one quick one. When's the registration closing out again? For which, for which one? For the Cub. Uh, it closed a couple of days ago because it started it next week. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. Vincent, I have a question for you. Sure. When, when you're a Nova counselor, does that mean that you can do Cubbies, Scouts, and Ventures right across the board? In principle, yes, unless you unless you you say otherwise. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. And uh, usually in the training, they say who who is able to do uh, to be a to uh, to be a Nova counselor. They usually say if you can if you, if you can do a high school math, you should be able to do it. So that's the that's that's what people usually use as a as a as the metric. Uh, I mean, I don't think that we need metrics. I mean, if we have people who want to. To help, that's all we need really for this. Hey, Drew. Yes. I just want to add something real quick for there. Um, if there there are still some openings in the uh, with the STEM camp, if you have a Cub Scout that would still really like to go, I'm sure we would not. You can reach out to me um, on my at, at, at uh, tori.carmen at scouting.org. I'll put it in the chat. I mean, I, there's. If you got a Cub Scout that really wants to go, I'm sure we have a couple open spots. I'm sure we would love to be able to have them and don't want to turn anybody, you know, away if they want to do it. So if you do, I'll put my email in the chat. Just reach out to me because we can make arrangements to do that um, behind the scenes. And I just do want to say kudos to Vincent and to Rob and to Greg and all those that were involved because they've done a phenomenal job creating that website. These kids are going to have an awesome time. So I just want to say kudos and thank you very much for all your hard work. Excellent. Great job to all of you. That's fantastic. Much appreciated for all of your hard work on this. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, so if there's no other questions, we'll get rolling. And uh, if you think of something, again, throw it in the chat or hold on to it to the end. So and we can take care of it from there. All right. Mr. Babbage, you're up next to talk us, to us about Wood Badge. Uh, hello, everyone, and good evening. Uh, I'm Bill Babbage, as Drew mentioned. I'm uh, the course director for the 2021 Twin Rivers Council Wood Badge course that's going to be held at Camp Bokpomany, uh this fall. Um, this year, the course will be a five-day course. It's a change from the past. It used to be a six-day course. The first weekend will start on Friday, September 17th, and will run until Sunday um, at approximately 5 p.m. And the second weekend will start on October 23rd, Saturday, October 23rd, and then on Sunday afternoon. Um, the course fee because somebody's going to ask, is $250 for the course if paid by July 14th. That includes all meals, all course materials, um, everything involved with the course. And uh, after the 14th, it goes up to $300. Um, at this point, I'd like to take a uh, introduce this brief informational video that has uh, quite, of inf quite a bit of information about the course. And then after the video, you'll hear from a few staff members about the course content. Um, the video was created by Quentin Chickalella, one of our incredibly talented staff members. So Drew, if you wouldn't mind running the video. Yeah, absolutely I will. And um, I have the settings good for sound through my computer, but if someone can't hear it or whatever, uh, throw something, if you guys can't hear it, just throw a little note in the chat for me and I'll watch it. <laughs> My name is Baden. Today I'll be your guide to the ultimate leader training experience, which is Wood Badge. The founder of scouting, Lord Baden Powell, founded Wood Badge in 1919 to meet the need for advanced leader training. Truly, if you want to assist in your local scouting program, either as a brand new or vintage scouter, there is something here for you. You only need to be registered in your unit and have your position specific training completed. You'll learn more than you thought possible, tips and tools of the trade, 
best friendships, awesome networks of knowledge, covering the whole of scouting and more. Wood Badge gives you advanced training to help your unit to new heights. Everyone gets something out of this course, and that will help them and their scouts. Become a youth again and participate in the scouting experience. From cub to council, learn and have fun with friends you didn't even know you had. Twin River Council offers a wood badge course every two years. It consists of two weekend sessions where you'll be living and learning in the great outdoors. In the first session, meals will be prepared for you. Later, you will plan and prepare your meals with your new friends. Showing off is encouraged. You'll be learning the fundamentals of connecting, guiding, empowering, living the values, and growing your legacy. Does your school have giant bananas for teachers? The fun balances the learning that is what gives every Wood Badge course such a great appeal. Learn lots in Wood Badge. Coaching, mentoring, problem solving, even decision making and conflict management. The Edge Methods, stages of team development, project planning, and much, much more. Register by going to Twin Rivers Council homepage, clicking on Wood Badge, or Google Wood Badge 2021 Twin Rivers Council. I really think Quinn did a fantastic job on that video. Thank you, Quinn. And um, I'm going to ask for a couple of my staff members to uh, speak about the five different themes. Um, Janet, are you there? I'm here. Theme one is growing. If you're mo like most people, you got involved in scouting through some child. We want our children or our scouts to grow positively every day. We want them exposed to strong leaders and good morals. Wood Badge provides opportunities for adults to learn more about personal growth and personal planning. These concepts will strengthen leadership abilities and set each individual up for greater success in personal, professional, and scouting life. Thank you, Janet. Sam? I'm going to talk a little bit about connecting. Uh, connecting is basically on how you get along and can read a crowd. As an adult, you've had a bunch of scouts in front of you, and sometimes you just don't, they don't get with you, they don't connect with you. It's kind of a blank stare. And one of the things that Woodbatch taught me is really how to connect with your audience and, and learn to read the crowd. Um, but honestly, biggest part of wood badge is connecting with each other you 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 connect to your to your family we call it in wood badge your the staff your your patrols they become lifelong friends so you not only do you make connections uh in the group but it you make connections worldwide because wood badge is worldwide all right thank you sam greg thanks bill so my topic is guiding. Uh, one of the most critical skills that any volunteer needs to have is their ability to lead. Without effective leadership, you will not be able to convert your ideas or vision into action. Wood Badge is going to stretch your leadership skills and will enhance your confidence to make you a more effective and confident leader. The skills of individual and team development, coaching and mentoring, and planning with a bias for action all fall under the wood badge competency of guiding. And Janet, I believe you have one more for empowering. Oh, here we go. There's Janet. Empowering. Of course, all these things we've talked about with wood badge falls under the section of fun. You gotta have fun or you're not doing it right. A leader that empowers is one that ultimately works at helping other people to become healthier and wiser and freer. They help others become more autonomous and help others become more likely to serve and lead themselves. The more we surround our scouts with adult leaders like this, the more likely they will become leaders themselves. Back to you, Thank Bill. Thank you. And I'm gonna to touch on living the values. It's about personifying the values and setting the example. We're going to help you learn what's meant by the vision, mission, and values. And then through presentation and activities, we'll explain the vision, mission, and values of scouting. 
and help you to relate those in the context of leadership. And we'll also help you develop your personal vision, mission, and values in scouting. We'll help you to know the territory. We're gonna review and identify the facts about the various programs of the BSA and correlate the mission with the values-based product that, this, that is the scouting program. Um, we're gonna explore how scouting and personal values relate to leadership success. And yeah, my bu last bullet point on that topic is we're gonna have fun. It's incredible the amount of fun that we have on this course with, with the staff and the participants. Um, as soon as we started the presentation, someone popped up in the chat, take the course. If you talk to anybody that's taken a wood bed course, I believe they're gonna tell you it's well worth the time and effort. Um, and we're also gonna conclude the course with the greatest leadership secret. And I'm not gonna tell you what that is at this point. Um, I'm open to questions at this point. Please check us out, go to the council website, watch the video again. Ask anybody that's taken Wood Badge. It's well worth your time and effort. Any questions? Crickets. Okay. You wowed them right from the start, guys. Right from the start. You ready to sign up? Nothing in the chat. All right. Well, again, if anybody thinks of anything, uh, you can just kind of hang out, and uh, be, I'm sure there'll be somebody from Wood Badge at the end that could answer it, or uh, on the screen, you can catch Bill's uh, email address and feel free to reach out to him directly through bspascouting at gmail.com and uh, he can get back to you with anything you need. So uh, thanks, Bill and the team. Appreciate it very much. Great job. All right. Some uh, quick items, some quick bits for everybody just to be aware of. Uh, if you didn't see it through the social media networks, everything the national sends out, there are some updated frequently asked questions to youth protection. No policies have changed, but they did update uh, a couple questions and clarifications for people uh, that were, you know, really out there and people were bringing up quite frequently. So you could find them uh, scouting.org through our Facebook page. Uh, or through our website. And when you get to the frequently asked question page, the uh, items with a diamond are the updated information. Uh, there's a little key at the top of the screen. So you'll see it when you get there. Uh, COVID-19 vaccination and safety precautions. Uh, we hope that everybody is uh, scouting safely and is able to continue on doing some activities with their kids. Hopefully, if you haven't started up, you are considering it or planning on starting up again. Uh, the opportunity is there. We strongly encourage all scouters and families to get vaccinated so that we can continue to scout safely and get back to, to some sense of normalcy in our lives. Uh, if you did not see today, there was an announcement that uh, the eligibility status has changed uh, starting tomorrow. Those 30 and above will be able to um, schedule up their vaccinations. And then in approximately, I think, two weeks or so after that, it's 16 and above. So uh, if you haven't seen that, it's in the news and we do encourage everybody to uh, scout on safely and use the attestation forms and uh, social distance and masking until we're told otherwise. Uh, April 16th and 17th at Camp Walk Ponomy. Uh, again, just gonna remind you, there's introduction to outdoor skills, the overnight session for Scoutmaster training. Registration is up on the website. This is one of the most asked for trainings over the last year or so since we weren't able to do it. So hopefully we have a full course at Walk Upon Me for the training team. In addition to that, the basic outdoor leader orientation on May 8th and 9th at Rotary Scout Reservation. This is for Cub leaders who uh, intend on camping with their pack, uh, family pam uh, camping. Again, one of the most asked for, uh, we haven't been able to do it. So hopefully we have a good crowd at that particular one. Uh, reminder, the NYLT registration is open. We had a great presentation from the NYLT team last month. If you did not see it, it is on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. You can check out the uh, council roundtable from last year, uh, last month. Um, but that registration is still up and running. And then another quick reminder that the Council Camp Berean Expo is scheduled for October 8th, 9th, and 10th, Saratoga Fairgrounds. Uh, we are doing a lot of work on that right now. Um, there's a good team, uh, solid team working on it. But uh, all we ask now is that you place it onto your calendars and so your units can attend. 
Next council roundtable will be April 27th at 7 p.m. Uh, what I would ask before everyone departs is to give some consideration of what you'd like us to address for you next month. Just drop it in the chat box so I can see it. And that way, if there's a particular topic or something that interests you that you think we should be addressing as a council, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, just let us know. And uh, if there's enough people who are interested in a particular thing, or if it's interesting enough, we can do it for this median, then absolutely we will do that. So feel free, right in the chat before you take off, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I open it up now. I told you it'd be just about an hour. We are just under an hour. Uh, questions and answers. Uh, we're here to answer anything you'd like to talk about. If you are set with us, you're welcome to take off. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your dedication to scouting. And uh, please let us know how we can better serve you and what you're trying to do for these kids and for your units. It's, uh, it's a greatly appreciated and, and we, we appreciate your time and, and your, you know, you're putting yourself out there as a volunteer. So uh, your dedication is noticed. So uh, here to answer any questions, if not, uh, I'm going to hang hey, out yeah, for Drew. a little bit and I'm happy to do um, just chatting along. So go ahead. Drew, uh, can't make the little hand raising thing work, but uh, just to clarify, the calendar said Baloo was May 1-2. So the dates changed? Um, I may have got around. Betty, do you know, or does anybody, who's on the training team? Janet, you're, uh, Janet's here. I see Janet. Anybody know? My understanding was that it was also the first and the second. Blue yes, whatever Eric said. Yeah, Baloo at Rotary is May 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Yeah. Fair yeah, well, I must have got it wrong. I apologize. Time. Thank you for bringing that up. No, just I had talked to somebody about it and just wanted to check the dates. No, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. Very cool. I appreciate all of our presenters tonight. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah.